Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Substance 2020.2. You know, more like a hands-on just to take a look at some of the improvement that has now been implemented in Substance. So the brand new feature or one of the major feature that is now here in Substance 2020.2 is the painting across UDIMS. And this is actually one of the highly requested features for a very long time now. And it's very interesting to see that guys at Substance, you know, presently owned by Adobe has made this dream come true so without further ado we're going to go over to blender and you know we already have suzanne the monkey who else are we supposed to use other than her and we would just simply make use of the udim feature that exists directly in blender and split suzanne into parts if you want to see a much more detailed video of how you can cut uvs and also do the whole new udim thing that exists in blender right now link is going to be in the description so with that done we will simply jump over to substance and once we have substance open you know define a brand new project right here we would select the file that we want and there are some changes that are now here and it's very you know necessary that we take a look at these changes before we proceed first things you would notice is right now there is a uv tile setting within the udim section so previously this wasn't here now and once you go through to turn this on because by default it's turned off so if you turn this on you can choose to paint across udims or you can make use of the previous legacy method of painting using texture set but because we're trying to see how this udim actually holds up we're simply going to set this as preserve uv and you know paint across udim and click on ok so once we click on ok there are some ui changes that you need to be aware of they are quite subtle but you know we need to take a look at them first things first you would notice that right now we have the three you know uh, udim sets or texture sets that we already defined earlier in blender so you can now see them here we have the eyes we also have the head and then we have the ear these are the three texture sets if we go over to the texture set right now you'll notice they are not defined as you know texture set one two and three but they are all tiled up as one universal texture set and these of course if you have several models you can still have various texture sets all attached to them something else that you would notice is if you take a look right here you would notice that we have a button which says uh, paint stroke ignores max uv tiles we're going to take a look at that there is a pause button and there is also an information icon button that you can turn on and turn off just to make sure that you can see all of the numberings that you have within your texture grid so let's take a look at that if we turn it off we can turn it back on and you can notice some changes something else that is very very visible is you would also notice we already have this going on but if you look right here there are some you know ui changes across this place we have a six grid system we have the pen and what this means is if we choose to click right here we can now mask our udims it's a very interesting way to mask udims now because how you can get this going is once you check this on you would notice that you have your uv tile mask you know within the properties turned on so you can see you know the 1001 2 and 3 tiles and if you simply hover across the 3d space or across the uv space you can choose to click to mask click as well to mask and you only have one part as visible but then let me drag your attention back here once you choose to mask some parts you now notice the parts that are only available for painting if i choose to come back here and click on the ear you now see that we have two sets you know available for painting but then if i make all of these things available it doesn't tell you if it's one two or three it simply gives you nothing so once we go ahead and turn this off you can see we have a full green right here painting is very very easy so let's actually get into the whole painting system so that you guys can see you know a couple of updates sort of differences that you need to keep in mind so with this next so with this here next thing which we need to do is to simply rotate this actually before we even start talking about how you can paint let's bake our maps because this is very you know it comes with Let's bake our maps because there is a couple of things you also need to keep in mind. If we come right here and choose to bake our maps, we need to go over to the texture set settings and I have to scroll all the way down 
and within this part i can choose to click on bake maps now what would happen is this is going to bake our maps according to the UDIM set that we have and it is going to give us a detail of what and what that we have so if i scroll all the way down and just click on you know bake it's going to go through and bake this and i don't know if it's just me but the baking system is a bit more faster this time but let me still take your attention here for a while you will notice that within the texture set setting the numbers that you have here represent the number of tiles that you have here which have been baked and at the same time it represents the number of textures that are being loaded into the individual you know slots that we have going on here so with this here if we want to start painting i will simply click right here and let's exclude the eye for example and proceed to paint so painting here is very easy now that we are doing this you will notice we can't paint directly and for us to paint directly we need to click on the paint brush and then we need to change the color and of course we can start painting but of course we also have a bit of a problem going on here which is the back face color and what do we do we need to go over to the shading setting and change this to PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Test. And once we do that, you can now see that we have, you know, the back face calling turned off. I'm going to simply turn this off right now. And of course we can start painting. Automatically, you would notice that the mini tree switched to painting that we no longer see the eye here. It's because we have this, you know, paint stroke ignore mask UV set or mask UV tiles turned on. So if we turn it off, we can still see the eye and we can now paint. So of course, you can now see what we have going on. If we don't want to see this particular part, we can turn it off and we can turn it on and it's going to hide it. Or if we want to still see it, we can still turn it on. Something else that is very interesting to note is while you're painting, you can also choose to paint across the entire UDIM. So right now you're not just painting on texture set and you have to go switch texture set and switch texture set. No, you're painting directly across. And this happens with both materials, generators, and, and you know, all of those beautiful things like decals and so on and so forth. So let's simply take a look at how this applies to materials. So for materials, I'm simply going to go all the way down and select the material. And right now, I don't know what material we can use, but of course we can use a calf skin or, or maybe we can use a human basic skin and drop this right over here. So once I drop this directly there, you would notice we have all of this done. I can simply select and click right here to exclude that part. Click right here to exclude that part as well. And of course we now have you know just this part ready this is very reminiscent of the very basic kind of masking that we have but it makes a lot of sense that you now have that you know control over the UDIM tiles that you don't want to get affected at a given point so with this done the next thing which we can also take a look at is the particle brush because the particle brush now has some pretty cool feature that also works with the UDIM so previously once you're working with a particle brush and you're working with UV tiles and you have your texture set you cannot paint across this but then if you simply switch over and let's say i get something like a color like that and let's also find maybe veins for example double click to get this active and right click to make sure that you have your size jitter a bit bigger and maybe the flow a bit you know bigger as well we can now simply paint across because we have this right now we can now simply paint across and you can now notice that it's painting across the entire thing so depending on what you want to create you can still go in there and load up as many material sets as you want which you can do from here so if you're looking for things like emissive glossiness all of these things you can have them and still paint across your entire UDIM. something else which you also need to see in action is the pause button so how this pause button works is if i go ahead and paint across like this you can see the whole simulation thing is going on i can press the pause button and it's going to pause the animation of everything thereby giving your memory enough time to breathe and just in case you're running something on the background or you want to make some critical decisions or you just don't want the whole animation to playback you can see what it looks like before you can now proceed to press the playback button to get this thing continuing so this in itself also makes a lot of sense and i think substance painter is evolving to that amazing tool that we all love and you know we want to make use of for our texture so if you want to see more details about this i'm going to put a link in the description where you can read about the documentation and see all of these things in their glory 
but finally before we go let's take a look at exporting so how you can export this is now even easier than ever the exporting module has been worked on very well and it is a bit faster than before I kind of noticed that as well so if you jump right over here you can choose to select the output maps that you want if you don't want certain ones you can turn them off all of the UV tiles you can proceed to click right here and you know on check all you can still choose to check all you can still choose to invert your, your selections like that and this makes sense and something else which makes a lot of sense is you can tell the total number of textures that you're about to export before you proceed to hitting export now 21 textures looks like a whole lot of textures to export and because we don't want any of these since we're just going to fire this directly in blender we will just export put the texture set for the base color so with this selected and everything properly defined the way we want it we're just going to go ahead and hit the word export and this is going to export it and of course if you're thinking how do we get this to work in blender how we can get this to work in blender is actually very simple so i will go ahead join this all the way there let's actually switch to layout drag this all the way up switch over you know to the shader click right here click right here and then you can just simply select this part if you have your node wrangler turned on you can press ctrl and t to make this active if you don't have your node wrangler turned on you need to go over to edit go over to preference you know switch over to your add-ons and within your add-ons you need to type the word wrangler and then make sure you have this turned on so with that there how we can load these things here is pretty simple because blender understands udims as well as you know uh, maya and substance all you have to do is click on open select the file and load it directly in here and for our own example what we're doing is just simply select the very first one which is the default material 1001 and once we have this selected just click on open image and automatically blender would know that you are actually dealing with a udim file and if we go over to our surfacing of course you can see that if we go over to our shading or our rendering of course you can see that right now so this is how you can you know proceed to get things up and running and if you're thinking about working with substance and also you're thinking about working with the udim feature that exists with blender right now the update that we have here is a very beautiful one and i'll obviously suggest that you take a look at this and see how you can make the most out of it and speaking about things you can make the most out of we'll probably be having a giveaway very soon more like a contest that will deal with licenses from substance painter and this is going to be sponsored by both nvidia and also adobe so if you want to see this and maybe you want to join the challenge simply stick around the channel as announcement for this is going to be coming very very soon so this is definitely going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace